and no one play wins or loses that game. I mean, there, there, there's a lot of plays, there's a lot of issues that we had throughout the game, um, obviously in the first half, but even in the second half. We, we had some plays that we could have made, um, you know, on both sides of the ball that would have changed that outcome of the game. This is the ODU Coaches Show, sponsored by Chartway Federal Credit Union. The calendar has shifted to October and Old Dominion has shifted to Conference USA play. And with that, we welcome you inside the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show alongside Ricky Ronnie. I'm just Mark Davis. And coach, once conference play starts, is there a different feeling around the team once you guys get into your league slate here? You know, I think it just, it just kind of restarts your goals a little bit. Um, obviously, uh, our number one goal is to go 1-0 and each week. But we, you know, we have an ultimate goal of winning a conference championship and things like that. And so uh, it kind of does reset everything a little bit. Fresh start, so to speak. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Well, and, you know, coming into it, you know, that second half, I know it didn't end the way you wanted to. But, man, you had to learn a lot about your team and their fight during that second half against Buffalo last week. Yeah, you know, a lot of people talked about that. I always knew they'd fight. I, I never questioned that. I didn't, I didn't question our fight uh, in, in our previous three games either. Uh, what, I, what I was questioning is whether we could consistently execute, and I think we did that in the second half on both sides of the ball, and really all three sides of the ball uh, when you consider special teams. Right. So I think that was the thing I learned is uh, that we could do that for an extended period of time. Well, there were probably a couple guys beating themselves up a little bit after that game. What are your conversations like with those particular players in the immediate aftermath? And no one play wins or loses that game. I mean, there, there, there's a lot of plays. There's a lot of issues that we had throughout the game, um, obviously in the first half, but even in the second half. We, we had some plays that we could have made, um, you know, on both sides of the ball that would have changed that outcome of the game. And, and I challenged our guys to look themselves in the mirror. I looked. I know I looked myself in the mirror where I could have done better. And, and uh you know, looking for that one extra point always. And so that's the, that's the thing that uh, I, I told the guys is, hey, it's not one play. Never, it's never going to be as long as football exists. Well, and that ferocious comeback happening in front of your home crowd, how did that crowd help you guys kind of generate some energy there in the second half and get you back into it? Yeah, I think, I think as a, a football team, you've always got to generate your own en energy because you've got to win games on the road too. And so I think that that's one thing that we, we, we really talked about. But, yeah, the crowd was great. You know, they, they got into it. Um, they started to believe, you know, and, and, and really when we scored, when we, when we made it 21, 35, 21, you could feel at the end of the third quarter there, you could kind of feel the crowd start to believe a little bit. And, uh, you know, that, was, that energy started to pick up, and, and, and that was a great feeling. But we've got to create our own energy because, you know, obviously we've got to go on the road here in the next couple of weeks. Right, absolutely. And as you mentioned against Liberty, sometimes it's even more fun silencing an array crowd than it is to hear the home one. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, but, so we've got to, you know, I think that energy for our team, though, is important. It's something that we've got to continue to concentrate on. You know, we talked last week about offensive numbers and your offensive numbers, at least statistically, and I know stats don't tell the whole story, but statistically, the offensive numbers were far better than they were against Liberty. It must be nice to see that spark going into Conference USA play. Yeah, again, we executed. You know, the plays were there against Liberty as well, and they yeah. were there in the first half of that game. Uh, we just didn't make them. And we've got to continue to, to execute. That's what we did so well in the second half is in the run and the pass game, we executed, you know, and, and, and uh, we took advantage of what was there. It's not always going to be a huge play, but we took advantage of what was there, and, and that was really the key. Well, and DJ Mack was behind a lot of that execution. Um, you know, how have you seen him kind of get more comfortable with the offense? He got it done with both his arms, his arm and his legs on Saturday. I felt like he was uh, just more comfortable throughout the whole game. You know, uh, were there still some mistakes? Yeah, of course, there's always going to be at that position because we're asking you to make so many decisions, you know, full speed decisions all the time. But I thought in general, he was very confident. He was very upfront when he did make a mistake, when he, what he should have done, what, whatever. He was seeing the field a lot better. The, the information that he was relaying to us was, was accurate, which is, which is always a great thing. Um, so excited, you know, to watch him, you know, continue to improve. What are a couple things you guys have been working on this week in practice just to make sure some things are shored up that led to being in that hole this past Saturday? We've got to eliminate the pre and the post snap penalties. That, that's got to happen. Um, you know, that's a discipline thing. That's a decision making thing. You know, deciding to concentrate and focus in. You know, those pre and those post snap penalties gave them some first downs um, on, and extended some drives um, for them and then put us in a hole 
uh, a couple times on the other side of the ball. So we've got to make sure we do that. And then we've got to protect the football. You know, we've been working on ball security. Uh, we can't put the ball on the ground. The ball was on the ground way too many times. And, and, and ultimately, you look back and, 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 you know, that was a major factor in the game. Right. And is that something, how do you shore that up? Is that you said it's discipline and it's things you can control. How do you shore up the turnovers and the penalties? Well, we've worked on it different ways. We always work on it every week and, mm -hmm. and um, every day. Uh, but we've done it a little bit more competitively in, in practice where it's just not the offense servicing the offense. We, we've had the defense in there because we need to get more takeaways as well. Uh, so we've been working on that a little bit as a more of a team drill. Uh, and, and, you know, I think that's going to show up. You don't have the running back carry the ball around campus and guys come around and try to swat it out as he's walking. No, that was a great movie. The program was a great movie. <laughs> but, uh, no, we don't, we don't have that. It's not your that. philosophy, huh? Yeah, no, no, I don't have that. But, uh, you know, we, we have been doing some, some different things, and, and Coach Lucas has really been focusing on it in practice, uh, and, and the running back room has taken to it very well. But it's, it's, it's across the board. we we got to be better, more ball secure at every position. Um, anybody who's carrying the football, I think, can make a major improvement on that. Well, for you personally, I think I read in the paper that you're, you're adjusting from being up in the booth so much as a coordinator to being down on the sideline. Have you been able to find your groove down there here four games in? Uh, I felt like I was better uh, in the last game. Oh. Uh, you know, I was, I was much more involved. Um, more involved with the officials, probably much to their <laughs> chagrin, um, you know, and, and those sort of things. But, yeah, I was, I was much more, uh, I felt better getting into a better flow on that end of it. Uh, I feel like I was giving better information to both the offensive and defensive coaches. Um, so I think that that, you know, which is a major part of my role, uh, used the timeouts well and did some, some of those sort of things. So I think that, you know, obviously I've got to continue to improve as well. Getting comfortable four games in. Game number five is at UTEP. We're going to catch up with Coach about the Miners a little bit later in the show. But coming up next, the players give us their thoughts on kicking off Conference USA play. That's when the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show continues right after this. He's got it. Mack back to throw. Looping it toward the end zone. This is toward Koontz. Pass is caught by Zach Koontz. Touchdown. Old Dominion. 19 seconds to go. And they're an extra point away from tying this thing. A strong bridge keeps you out of troubled waters. This connection was built 70 years ago. Trusted over time. Erected on concrete pillars to inform Investigate and inspire. Morning, noon, and night. Strong bridges personify, connect, and unite. Bye bye to 2021 at Southern. Remaining inventory must go during Jeep Adventure Days. Low 0% financing options, high trade in values. Upgrade and save on a new vehicle today. Only at Southern Jeep in Chesapeake and Norfolk. DrivingSouthern.com. See and shop Virginia's largest and finest selection of new furniture and antiques. 4,000 plus pieces, one-of-a-kind items, priced to sell. It's just a short drive, 20 minutes or less from most cities. Carrollton Furniture. Can't see, who is it? It's legendary football coach, Iron Mike Ditka. Iron Mike Ditka, any predictions for this season? The only winner I know this year is this. Bet River Sportsbook app, the most trusted award-winning app on game day. This season, bet with the winner, the Bet River Sportsbook app. Just log in, find your game, select your bet, and you're done. The Bet River Sportsbook app must be a winner. Mike Dicka would not lie. Hey, Monarch fans, Ricky Ronnie here to say show your pride and get the new ODU credit card from Chartway. Start using the new ODU credit card from Chartway in the stadium, in the arena, or wherever you're enjoying the game with no annual fees and 20,000 bonus points when you sign up. Plus 0% APR on balance transfers for a full year. Earn points on every dollar you spend to redeem for cash, travel, and more. Sign up today at Chartway.com slash Monarchs. Chartway, official credit union of ODU Athletics. Go Monarchs! We train the technicians that keep America running. We are ATI, automotive, heavy vehicle and diesel, commercial driving, 
Welding, HVAC, ATI, hands-on, high action, fully engaged, career-focused programs for career-driven people, skills you can build your future on. We are ATI. Get started today at auto.edu. ATI. DJ Mack will keep it himself, and he's got some room on the far side. Open ocean in front of quarterback DJ Mack into Buffalo territory. Finally gets out of bounds at the 35. DJ Mack's best play as a monarch. Thanks for staying with us here on the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show. With the non-conference portion of the schedule behind them, the Monarchs now shift their attention to Conference USA play. A chance to start out the conference schedule 1-0 awaits them in El Paso, and we caught up with the players about this crucial point in the schedule. You know, there's always a little bit of jolt of energy when conference play starts. You know it. These games mean a little bit more, you know, um, and as a team, we just take it as this one and no mentality that as long as we keep working throughout the week, hopefully our, uh, the process will work out on Saturdays. We just try and um, continue to go one and no, like you said. I mean, we're the one and no team, and, and I think when you kind of look at um, stuff like that, maybe it kind of gets lost a little bit and you kind of lose your direction of a team. Um, so really focus on and go one and no, one and no, one and no. This week, it just happens to be a conference game, um, but at the same time, it is nice to know that you are zero and zero. So the players fired up to start conference play. Now it's time to hear from the fans, coach. We're hearing from Mark, who's an ODU alum from Richmond. He wants to know we just hit fall. Are you a hot or cold weather guy? I'm from Colorado, so I'm a cold weather guy. Yeah, especially it, it, it's really more the humidity. It uh, kills you. Yeah, it, it, it kills me. I, 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 that's that's one thing that you know. I, I'll walk outside and I'm sweating. You know, my son always makes fun of me for it, which I don't know why, because he sweats as much as I do. So uh, yeah, it's the apple those, doesn't fall far from the tree. No, 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 not at all. You know, so uh, yeah, it's one of those things that I, I'm definitely more of a cold weather guy. Absolutely, I think you can always add another layer. You know what I mean? That's <laughs> yeah, and, and I love sweatshirts and things like that. Yeah. So you know, so it, it's it's definitely one of those deals. It's also football weather, if you ask if you ask some people. Good question there. Mark. We move on to Ashley from Virginia Beach. She wants to know, do you and your family have a specific game day routine you guys do? They might. I have no <laughs> idea about it. Uh, you know, I did get to see him on the uh, on the Monarch March, which was mm -hmm. which was really cool. I got to see him this week. Uh, all but my youngest son. My youngest son was at a hockey tournament, scoring some goals, so that was a good deal for him. Um, but yeah, I got to see my family. Uh, I try to if I can, if I see him, and you know, at least give him a kiss and those sort of things. But yeah. then I don't see him on the road game, so I wouldn't say there's necessarily a routine. Um, you know, my wife's gonna always text me, uh, my, you know, how much she loves me and support and things like that. And and but that's that's about it. Yeah. Hey, that works too, no doubt at all. And then Gus from Norfolk, you're heading to Texas. You Mexican, you're, you're, you like Mexican food, but are you a barbecue eater? Because barbecue is so oh, big down there. Yeah, huge, huge, huge <laughs> barbecue guy. I love it. Um, you know, in fact, you know. I, when, when I go, when we travel around, you know, with my family or my wife or whatever, if there's a famous barbecue place, we are going to visit it, and that's going to happen. Uh, I, judge, I judge barbecue places by their brisket. Yep, um, I'm the same way. Yeah, that's, that's how I judge it. And then, uh, you know, I, the second one I always judge it on, if they can, is, is, is banana pudding. Really? Oh, yeah, it's okay. huge. Because it, if you got a barbecue spot, you should have good banana pudding and or good cornbread, mm -hmm. right? So those are the two things that you got to judge it on, and, and that, that's, that's my own personal preference. Well, if you have a question for Coach Ronnie, you can email askthecoach at WTKR.com. You can win a sideline experience and tickets to the next home game. Now let's head inside the Old Dominion locker room and meet some of the Monarchs. Probably go see a movie first. I've learned this trick first. Probably go see the movie, then go sit down and have dinner so you have something to talk about at dinner. So I would do that, see a movie, go to a dinner, sit down and be able to talk about the movie and discuss and just get to know each other. For me, it's really just checking in on when, when my brothers play. I know they play at Rutgers University, so I kind of just check in on when they play. If they're playing before me, I'll kind of just check the game, check the stats, things like that. If I could play another sport, I'm definitely picking handball. I watched a lot of the Olympics this year, and I feel like I could be an Olympic handball player for Team USA, so that's definitely my go-to sport now. Uh, if I could pick a superpower, it'd probably be teleportation. You know, a lot of my time in life is traveling places, and I would be able to save money on gas, and like that. I wouldn't have to have a car. I could just go be here whenever I want, leave at whatever time, so it would definitely be teleportation. 
your calendar, check the dates. The amazing Rooms to Go Fall Sale is going on now, and thousands of shoppers are getting huge fall sale savings on great looking living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, mattresses, and more. Plus, to make buying even easier, there's 60 month interest free financing. That's right, you get both low sale prices and 60 month interest free financing. So hurry to the Rooms to Go Fall Sale today for great looking furniture and low sale prices. Extra miles added peace of mind. Get a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty with every new Southern Kia. Big selection. More new Kia Telluride, Carnivals, and Sorrentos than any other dealer. Only at Southern Kia in Chesapeake and Virginia Beach, Southern Kia, Grimbrier.com, and Southern Kia, Linhaven.com. Hi, everybody, and welcome to another one day bath transformation. Today, we're going to see why West Shore Home prides itself in being the best option for homeowners looking to give their bathroom a fresh, modern upgrade. Joining me today is Kirsten from West Shore Home. Kirsten, what's on for today? All right, Joe. So this this job has a few more moving parts than we usually see, so let's go inside and see what we're working with. So this homeowner was having trouble with their old tub, so what they did was they hired a company to come in and put a liner over their old tub. Really that's just a band-aid solution because if you're having an issue with your old tub and you put a liner over it, the problem is still there. Exactly, and it looks like they're having some serious problems with the newer unit too. They definitely are. So if you look in the corners, you're going to see where the caulk is. There's a lot of mold and mildew built up in there. Okay, so how's West Shore going to tackle this problem? What's the plan? So what we're going to do today is do a full replacement. We're going to come in, we're going to take out this entire tub and the liner on top of it, and we're going to replace it with a brand new, beautiful walk-in shower. Let's get started. As you can see, the installers made it happen. I actually grabbed this. This is what was there. They had a liner covered by another liner. That's a Band-Aid solution, as Kirsten said, not a permanent one. Folks, if you have any issues with your bath or shower, call West Shore Home. They truly are the bath experts. Give them a call now and take advantage of this great offer. 18 months of no payments and no interest financing. And if you call in right now, get 20% off your entire shower or bath project. This is a limited time offer, so don't miss out. Call West Shore Home now. Virginia 529 is proud to present Battle of the Brains each Saturday at 10 a.m. on News 3. Learn how you can save in advance for community college, universities, trade schools, or technical programs, all at virginia529.com. The punt was blocked, line drive style, went right to Ryan Henry, and the <laughs> linebacker said, whoa, look what I found, and patrolled into full territory. Ted Alexander with the call on the Old Dominion Sports Radio Network. You can catch that if you can't make it down to El Paso in Texas. That's where you want to be and listen to Ted on the call. Now, Coach, you guys faced the minors of UTEP this weekend. Out to a 3-1 and one start. They had five total wins since 2017 coming into this season. Yep. What's been working for them this year? Well, Coach Dimmel, I coached with Coach Dimmel for two years mm -hmm. at Kansas State. He, he's an excellent football coach. Um, great, great football mind, great motivator, uh, good man. Uh, so... You know, I think that, you know, they've been playing good defense, especially on third down. They've been doing a really nice job on third down, and that's been a, a key for them. Uh, they always find a way to run the football. That's kind of been uh, Dana's thing, you know, so he played offensive line for Kansas State, you know, so that's always been his thing. Um, but they've been throwing the ball very well. Their quarterback's got a strong arm, and they've been, uh, be been able to push the ball down the field a little bit. Well, and you mentioned that defense. That was pretty key in that comeback win they had against New Mexico last week. What is it about their defense that makes it so stout, brick wall-like, so to speak? Yeah, I mean, they, they've been playing uh, really, really well, you know, in terms of just their regular defense and getting people to third down. And then on third down, they're a little bit more exotic, and, and they come after you and, and, and that sort of thing. So third down's really been the key for them. Um, Ultimately, getting to third down, though, has is, is maybe been an overlooked thing that people are missing. They, they're getting people to third down and then, and then uh, you know, making people pay for being in, in some third and long situations. Well, and, you know, you also mentioned they've been throwing the ball very well. And I think J uh, Jacob Cowling, second in Conference USA and receiving so far here in the early going. How do you focus on a guy like that without overcommitting? Because part of a, th a good player is I know they create opportunities for their other teammates. So how do you approach yeah. that? You know, you, you, you've got to 
execute the scheme and, and those sort of things. I mean, if you look at it, if you, if you're going to give up some catches. You're going to give up some things like that. Um, but what you've got to do is it's kind of like what we did in the second half of the last game. You know, In the first half of that game, they had a guy who had uh, – seven catches for over 100 yards, and then we held them down pretty much in the second half. And the reason why is we just played better team defense. It's not like we concentrated on him or did anything to stop him. We just, everyone was in their spots. We, we rushed the passer better. Uh, we played better run defense, so now the play action passes don't fit better. We've got to do all those sort of things. Um, if you don't, then that's when he's going to be able to go off. You talked about coaching with Coach Dimmel at Kansas State, I think, in 2009 and 2010. Mm -hmm. um, what stands out about him as a coach, and, and did he teach you anything that you still continue to use to this day? He's always been so, uh, yeah, he was a huge influence on me, quite sure. frankly. Sure. You know, I think that he, he, he does a great job of being able to um, scheme up some runs and, and really take advantage of those sort of things, either formationally, um, he does a great job. They, they, they have varying line splits. They do all sorts of things, just little details that are kind of hard for, um, you know, maybe don't show up on TV for the average fan, but like when you're watching the game tape are very, are, are very obvious and, and they create some issues. And so he does a great job with that. He always has. Um, he's always been able to find ways to run the football no matter how much talent he has or doesn't have. Um, and, and, and he makes great in-game adjustments. So we've got to make sure we're, it's going to be a great challenge for us, um, and, and, and I'm looking forward to it. ODU hasn't been to UTEP since 2016. You ever been down to El Paso there near the border? I have not. I have not. I've never been down there. Um, I know I've got some of my family members who are going to make the nine-hour trek from uh, Denver down there. you there. go. Yeah. Um, so uh, had to remind them that it's the same uh, time zone so that they, didn't, uh, they weren't late to the game. So, yeah, it's going to be a... It's, it's a trek, man. It's, it's, it's out there. Uh, I, hear, I hear good things about the city in general. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I'm going to be in the hotel and at the <laughs> stadium. I'm not going to get to experience any of it. But right. uh, uh, I would have loved to, to get some Mexican food because I love that. Being from Colorado, that's one of my favorites. So, but I'm, I'm probably going to miss out on that. But it's, uh, yeah, I'm, you know, you, you kinda, it's not like you go and experience the city when exactly. you're in these games, right? You, you go to the hotel, you go to the stadium. And you get out of there, and that's kind of how it is. Have the meeting in the hotel ballroom, watch film in your room. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not. It, it could be no. anywhere, right? No, you see the you, <laughs> you see the tarmac, the hotel, and the stadium, and that's about it. Yeah, and, and the city on the way to the drive on the on the bus ride. Yeah, yeah. You, and, and even <laughs> and even then, like I'm usually looking at something else, and I don't even see it. So it, it's it's uh, yeah, it's one of those things that. As a coach, maybe I should take a little bit, take it in a little bit more, but uh, I kind of don't. You know, I, I, I turns well, out you have some other things on your mind. <laughs> yeah, I usually get a run in on the morning, so I'll probably I, I, that's when I do see a little bit of the city when I do that. Well, it sounds like Monarch Nation will be well represented down in El Paso, and uh, you know, there's still a long way to go. I realize, but how key is it starting one and zero in conference play to just momentum spark? You know, just kind of get things started on the right foot. I think every game, like I said, I want to go one and zero every game. Right. You know, and uh, but obviously this is the next game, and it's it's conference game, so um, it's an important way for us to start. I think it it's a way for us to build on anything that that we've done throughout the first four weeks of the year, and and you know we need to go down there, and they're a team that's playing with a lot of confidence right now, and, and so it's going to be a big challenge for us. Well, Coach Ronnie, thanks as always for being with us here as you are every week. Best of luck down in El Paso, and we'll see you next week. All right, sounds good. The Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show continues right after this. Runs up in the pocket, runs out of there, has a man, keeps it himself inside the 25, DJ Mack to the 20, Mack cuts it back, DJ Mack, touchdown Old Dominion, there's a play from Mack. Life is full of things to worry about. Your home's foundation shouldn't be one of them. Vertical and horizontal foundation cracks, windows and doors that stick, are all indications that your home has foundation issues. At JES Foundation Repair, we offer permanent solutions that help put your worries to rest. Call us today for a free inspection. Big Al's. Drive more, worry less. 
Hey, Monarch fans, Ricky Ronnie here to say show your pride and get the new ODU credit card from Chartway. Start using the new ODU credit card from Chartway at the stadium, in the arena, or wherever you're enjoying the game with no annual fees and 20,000 bonus points when you sign up. Plus 0% APR on balance transfers for a full year. Earn points on every dollar you spend to redeem for cash, travel, and more. Sign up today at Chartway.com slash Monarchs. Chartway, official credit union of ODU Athletics. Go Monarchs! Watch News 3 on your favorite streaming device. Just search for WTKR News 3. Bye-bye to 2021 at Southern. Remaining inventory must go during ramp power days. Low 0% financing options. High trade-in values. Upgrade and save on a new vehicle today. Only at Southern Ram in Norfolk and Chesapeake. DrivingSouthern.com. I'm Terry McAuliffe, candidate for governor, and I sponsored this ad. As a Wall Street executive, Glenn Youngkin took over this chain of nursing homes, cutting staff to increase corporate profits. Conditions got worse as budgets dwindled. He would hit the button and no one would come. Unclean conditions there, understaffing. They just forgot about him. 25,000 seniors faced neglect, abuse, or even worse. But Glenn Youngkin, he made over $500 million. Glenn Youngkin is wrong for Virginia. Did you know Belltone accepts all insurances, including TRICARE? Call us today at 497-3900 and ask about all of our exclusive discounts. Belltone, your Team 3 professional. Welcome back to the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show. Now, ODU has a long, rich tradition of honoring the military. Megan Plain explores how. I think most military really enjoy sports as a whole, you know, football, basketball, baseball, whatever it is. And that enjoyment is being offered to our country's service members for free, thanks to Old Dominion's Seats for Service Members program. The program provides complimentary tickets to all branches of the military who are looking to attend ODU football and basketball games. When we started this program seven years ago, it was just about making a commitment to our, our service members. Um, obviously, there's so many in this community. Old Dominion's location, which is about five miles from the world's largest naval installation. I mean, that, that's a lot of people. You're talking 60,000 people um, that are from the community. Captain Bob Clark leads ODU's military engagement after spending 26 years in the Navy, a career that began at ODU as a Hampton Roads Naval ROTC midshipman. So his perspective is invaluable to ODU when the school is putting together programs for our local service members. Staying involved with athletics and the military and, and the university as a whole. It's a, it's a great opportunity, a great place to be. We're really, really forging new things every day to support. For those looking to become members of Monarch Nation with Seats for Service tickets, they are available on a first come, first serve basis beginning two weeks prior to each home athletic event. As soon as we put the notice out that the tickets are there, they're scooped up pretty quickly. So, you know, we, we have a certain number for each game and we're looking forward to releasing the basketball tickets here soon. So I I'm sure they're going to go quickly. It's an awesome, uh, awesome way to be able to say thank you for their dedicated service and sacrifice to our community and nation. So it's it'd be great to see them all come out and become part of the Monarch Nation. You can find the seats for service members' tickets at WTKR.com. In Norfolk, Megan Plain, News 3. That wraps up this edition of the Chartway Old Dominion Football Coaches Show. Old Dominion and UTEP kick off at 9 p.m. Eastern time in El Paso. Have a great weekend, everybody, and go Monarchs. Standing on his 35, he's got it this time. Rolls to the right side, and another putt is blocked, and it comes right to the Monarch special teamer at the 40, 35, cutting inside and diving to the 26 yards. Isaiah Page in motion. Take the handoff, dump it off to Page in space. He's a speedster. Across the 15, breaks the tackle inside the 10, spins outside the 5, out at the 2. Isaiah Page, ball on the Monarch 40. 9.51 to play. Handoff coming through the line. The running back. A huge hole for Blake Watson. Inside the 35. Wrestled out of bounds at the 30. And another penalty is going to come. Detroit for the Monarchs down by 14. Hand the ball off. It's John Luke Peeker. Touchdown, Old Dominion. Down and three. Certainly four down territory for the Monarchs down by 14. Hand the ball off. It's John Luke Peeker. Touchdown, Old Dominion.